Good morning everybody, hi it's Rose again and today we're going to be looking at how to put a celluloid film into a single lens reflex camera and for these purposes we're using a Pentax camera which is this camera, it's my old knackered Pentax which um, you shoot using film and we're going to be using this black and white celluloid film which is an Ilford and it's got a speed of 400 but we'll talk about that another day. So for now what we're going to concentrate on is how to get the celluloid film into the single lens reflex camera because this is quite an interesting process. There's a knob on the top like that you see. Pull that up and the back swings open and now you can see the back of the camera. Okay and what we're going to do is we're going to load the film into the camera so the film's going to go in on this spool here you can see that's moving up and down and then what happens is that the film feeds across the back of the camera and it goes in to this side when you've used it now as the film goes behind the camera it goes behind one frame at a time so when you've got one frame behind here and you take a picture with the camera, what happens is that the light exposes onto that single frame there and captures the imprint of the exposure on celluloid forever. And then you take that imprint and you develop it and you print it and you put it onto paper. And we're going to be talking about all that. But for now, we're just loading up the camera. So what we're going to be doing is putting the film in here so that every time you wind the camera on, a new frame gets moved on and one by one you use up frame by frame of the film until you've got the whole film used up. And by then, the whole of the film will have been wound on to this bit here, okay, in here. And then what you do is you take the film out of the camera and you develop it and print it, okay? So, shut that. Here's the film. It's an Ilford 400, which is sort of like a kind of quite a good average film to start with. It's relatively fast, 400 is its speed. So I'm going to take the film out of the box. Yeah. Here it is. It comes in a little carton like that. And you take the lid off the carton. Okay, there's the, now there's the film. Do you see that, right? You see that film. And you see these little sprockets here, yeah? These little sprockets here and here. What they do, when you put the film in the camera, the sprockets go across the back here and they get caught in those sprockets there. Can you see them? Yeah. yeah. And they go around automatically, okay? And that's what winds it on. And then when you use that mechanism there to wind the film on, it gets wound on, on the sprockets. So it moves the film on. So you can do a frame, another frame, and another frame, okay? So here we are. First of all, we have to make sure that it's the right way up, all right? Lift that little knob there right up, yeah? And pop the film in, okay? And then you have to press that down like that so that that holds the film in place. Can you see that? Yeah, the film's held in place like that. And you can see we've got the film ready to go across the back of the camera. Right, now what we have to do is feed the film onto those sprockets there. Okay, see there they are. So I'm going to get hold of it like that and feed it across there. Can you see that? It's on the sprockets. Like that. There's the little tail end of the film there. I can feel it, okay. But there the sprockets are. You have to make sure that it's caught in the sprockets. Yeah, you can see. See one of them shining through like that, yeah? What we do is we shut the back and then we move the film along using using this, okay? One frame. Press the button. Now, to check that the film is actually going across the back, you listen to it. So how I check. So you wind it 
And then when you wind it, you can hear the film loading onto the second spool. Sometimes you can also pick up a bit of tension as well. So there you've got it. You've wound the film on to the sprocket and you're ready to start taking pictures. And we're going to talk about that in another one. So go onto our site at www.stpaulslifestyle and search film and you'll find these tutorials coming up. Okay, bye.